Hey guys, I'm Rohit Khilnani. Thanks for clicking on this video. During this pandemic, I'm making some positive content because we need the positivity. And I'm also making some informative and helpful content. Kuch job ke kaam aega. This one is about the oximeter. One, do we need it? Kaha milega? Should we keep one? Just like we keep a thermometer in the house. Uh, if your parents live separately uh, during this lockdown, you can't go to them and you can't meet them all the time. They live in another country, another city. Or uh, should you send them one and they could keep one? I will tell you all about the oximeter. First things first, do we need an oximeter? Ask your doctor, simple question. Kya main oximeter ghar pe rakhun? Should I send it to my parents? Should my dad keep it? My mom keep it? Your doctor knows your body type. Your doctor knows your illnesses. But I would say it's a small device that can give you helpful information during this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this information you can give your doctor. Now suppose, for example, my mom lives separately in another house. Suppose she calls and she tells me that she has some symptoms. She's getting breathless, she's getting fever or cough or something. I will first tell her because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I can't go to her physically. I'll tell her, check the oximeter and tell me your oxygen saturation level. That's just information that I will use to tell the doctor if the oxygen level has fallen to X, Y, Z. It should be 100 so, or as close to 100 as possible, 97, 98, 99. All you have to do is turn on the power button. It lights up. Open the clip. Place your finger inside. That's it. That's the reading. 98 is my oxygen saturation. And don't worry about my heart rate, my pulse rate. I've just finished a workout. So my, my heart rate is high. So does this handy small machine tells you if you have COVID? No. This is to measure the oxygen saturation in your blood. And that's about it. This information you will give your doctor and then the procedure will follow if anyone has COVID. But this gives you very important information that can be one of the reasons for COVID-19. This information is nothing but reassuring. Uh, firstly, people with COVID-19, you know, they should keep this and keep checking twice, thrice, four times a day to see if the oxygen levels are proper or not, if they are in home isolation. This is just reassuring information. Even if you don't have it and you're feeling breathless, you're tired, you're getting some fever. If you check it with this small machine, it's just good to know. If the levels are low, call your doctor. If the levels are normal, good. Check it again after some time. So yes, it's a good machine to have. No doubt about that. The best part is that this is a non-invasive device. You just clip your finger, it shines a light, and through that light, it measures if there's enough oxygen in your blood and how much it is. The things that you should keep in mind is that you should not have artificial nails and a dark nail paint. Uh, since this has this is based on a light that goes through your finger, the light in your room, if it's too bright or you're outdoor, check it twice or thrice because light can be invasive and can give you a wrong reading. So do that, measure it at least once or twice. Since the COVID-19 pandemic started, now this oximeter is available at most medical stores. In India, it costs around 2,000, 2,500 to 3,000 rupees. In the US, it costs between 30 to 50 dollars, depending on which one you buy. So make sure it's a good company. Um, if you buy it from someone you know, you can check it right there. Um, this requires two batteries and it goes off on its own for powering. It has one power button. On that note, I would say stay as safe as you can. I'll see you in my next video. Stay fit, stay healthy.